Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mint Dragon. We're going to continue our game here of Star Traders Frontiers. That first episode was just to show you the basics of the game, the interface, etc. So, a little bit dry, I'm sure. We're going to jump in and continue our journey here in the game. We just, um, at, the, at the end of the first episode, we completed a quick mission. And I actually want to get down to um, where our prince is so I can start purchasing uh, trade. Um, but I need to fuel up, so I went to the starport. And here's where you can refuel, repair, upgrade components, and on, on this zone we can actually purchase a new ship. It's cheap, $3 a unit, the average price is 15, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a gold star here. Um, and we purchased the fuel already. I just rushed through it. Down here are the other options of a spice hall. Um, it always opens into a quadrant news, and so it tells you where conflicts are going on, rumors that you may have um, had heard at one time, but they're no longer true. Um, etc etc so you can pay your crew wages no one needs paid right now we can recruit more crew if some of these guys die off or desert us and the spice hall um, is where we can let these guys go to the bar and entertain themselves spice is kind of like it it improves morale so um, uh, you can interpret any way you want but Basically, it improves the morale of your crew and is entertainment, so it's kind of like a space bar. So, we got everyone spiced up. Anyone need a doctor? No, no one needs a doctor, so that's good. We have 21,000 credits from completing that mission. Everyone's paid, everyone's happy. Let's take a look at the exchange here. Now, this is where we're going to be able to buy and sell cargo that we're carrying we don't have any permits yet so we're going to be restricted on what we can get but medicine's always a good one to get um, it is in demand on a variety of planets so i'm going to go ahead and purchase some of that and polymer ingots is another popular one and now our cargo is full so we're going to close out of here. It's always good to check what the demand is here, what's most important to them. Let's see. Cambernite ore. It's fairly expensive. Clothing. Fairly expensive. And they're willing to pay for it. And once uh, we're able to get power generators, once we have permits for it, um, this is a good place to take it make a lot of money off of that all right so I want to find out where our prince is I'm gonna shortcut it and go to our contact screen here's where the prince is and I'm gonna set a waypoint to that planet and it's gonna take us there not far to go So we have an independent high-tech industrial planet. They do have fuel there. And we have a tradeway, so we'll buy and sell almost anything. And they have full services, so fuel, they have mechanics, they have a doctor, and they have a spice hall. And we have a contact on there, which is the prince. And we want to go talk to the prince. He has 31 influence within the faction. We have 10 personal rep. Combined with our Thaloon rep, our effective rep with them is 13 right now. The way we're going to improve that is by doing missions for him. So I'm going to find a couple to choose from. One's a return shipping. One's a one-way shipper. Um, because we have so little reputation, he's probably only, only going to let us do one. So I'm going to do this return shipping because we're going to come back to them. 
Um, if I select the second one and try to accept it, yeah, we get a warning message. We can only accept one mission at a time from him right now, but of course, as your rep goes up with him, um, he'll let you do multiple missions at the same time. And it's really good to piggyback them on. Let's see what we need to do to get a trade permit. Now we're able to get a level one trade permit. Level four lets you sell the more expensive goods. Three, two, and one, but we gotta start somewhere. Um, it's gonna cost us 1600 credits. Yes, we can afford it. Two personal rep cost. We have to have a minimum of five effective rep and it will probably cost him um, five influence within the faction so by doing a mission we'll be able to offset that so let's go ahead and get a level one trade permit and while we're here let's see if we can't sell some of this off yep polymer ingots now as we talked about last time there's a trade ban right now with clan javat so we will lose rep with clan javat i really don't care we need to make money so our reputation went down here by 20 and what you're seeing here in the lower right hand quarter is sort of a scrolling log um, you can't really scroll up or down on it but um, it lets you know what tests are being done on your ship um, if you hit a milestone in the game or if there's a problem like someone left the ship because their morale was so low etc and here it just let us know we lost 20 reputation with clan shavat Okay, whatever. Um, let's see what fuel is like here. 14 a unit, that's pretty high, but let's just get it so we don't have to mess around with it. And we go out to space. We have our mission here. We have 22 weeks to get it done, no problem. It's where everything is here in this sector. And let's navigate. So it's on here, return shipping. All right, a uh, crate has been added to our cargo. We have to take it back to the Prince. We gain some rep, we gain rep with the Prince and he has gained one influence back. Perfect. Um, we can look at the exchange here. Yeah, meds are there, but they're not paying a lot for it. That's pretty typical of the independent planets. Um, but they do have clothing. Remember that one place? Really like clothing. And they're willing to pay a lot for it. So we'll go ahead and purchase some of that. And we're going to go back to our prince here and complete this mission. So we're going to land here, turn the shipping, got paid 11k. He has 33 influence now, effective rep has gone up. Let's see what it takes to get to a level 2. Oops. Trade permit. Oh, and we're ready to purchase that. 4,800 credits. Beautiful. Okay, before we do anything else, let's see if we can pay the crew. Yeah, we can. And here it's telling you that when we pay this, you know, this officer here, we're going to be able to increase his job rank and pick a new talent. Um, these other characters are just gaining levels. But as they level up, you know, from one to the next to the next, oftentimes he'll be able to pick more talents for them and, and train them. So it's good. Our dashboard up here is letting us know that that one crew is ready to upgrade. So we'll go to status, hit the crew button. Now I can see this is the one that's here to upgrade, but if you have you know one guy down here, and remember this ship has 30 different crew on it, so instead of trying to locate them, you can apply a filter. And I'm gonna filter on leveling, which will let me see just the crew members that need to level real handy filter um, so here we can go up a job rank and they are already a commander and a doctor I'm going to go ahead and 
take him to a level 2 commander and I'm going to automatically pass a failed command test with the aura of command talent excellent and that was the only person we needed to upgrade okay so I'm gonna get some fuel see if anything needs repair to you We'll pay to have that repaired. Spice Hall. No one needs a doctor. No one needs a Spice Hall. Before I take another mission from these guys, let me run back over to this refinery and sell off this clothing. I go to the exchange, definitely. So we made some good money on that. Um, any cargo we can buy that is of value. Refined spice is pretty good. $320, we can sell it for between 400 and 720 with a level two permit, that's not bad. Strontium alloy. Industrial Orbital High Tech. I know we have some high tech zones here and a Tradeway zone. And it's nice, they, they give you a grade on here as to how good of a deal it is. I'm gonna load up on that and that will fill up our cargo. All right, let's head back over to our prints. Ooh, one last thing. This had a green star, which is cheap fuel. $3, awesome. So we're going to go ahead and refuel it back up. Let's head back over to the tradeway where the prince is. Excellent. They will buy that strontium alloy. Refinery, industrial, orbital, high tech. I'm going to find out what kind of planets we have in this sector that we're in. We have a tradeway. There's an orbital. It's another tradeway. Refinery, high tech, industrial. So these are the people that will buy this raw spice. And we have the permit, so as long as it's legal on that planet, they may have some, some local laws that restrict it, but I'm willing to take a chance on it. Let's just go find out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select this zone. Set a waypoint to it. Should be able to get there on fuel. And hit the navigate button. Ah, uh, we got our first ship contact, so we're in Thaloon territory. He is a Thaloon spy. And he was neutral, but now he's friendly. So all we have to do is acknowledge him. And when we acknowledge him, um, we're free to leave. We actually gained a little bit of reputation. We gained one reputation with House Saloon. The crew gained some experience points. And when we pay them with the enough experience points, they will upgrade. All right, we're about out of fuel here, so we have to get some fuel. This is the Arbiter that they referred to in the intro of the game when it started up and we skipped it over. I think we're able to get like $10,000. 
if we uh, if we take her somewhere. So let's find out what we have. So on these story arcs, it always starts with something like this. These with these people will be a contact on the planet. Um, you do have to engage with them on the planet. Um, and here they're telling me the story of what they want to do and who they are and what they're asking of us. All right. So I've done this once before. Um, I know she wants us to take us, take us to another planet and then um, they'll pay us. So we will do that. It'll be in the area. Let's go ahead and get our business done. We're going to fuel up. We're going to repair what's needed. We're going to pay wages. Ooh. There is no doctor or spice hall on this landing zone. We do have some upgrades here, and this dashboard is telling us that we have some people with low morale, so we need to find a spice hall soon. Let's go to the exchange, and sure enough, look at this, we're going to get uh, 8,900 credits just by making this one sale. Goods which are reasonably priced and high priced while we're here. Alright, so I picked up some goods. Our cargo is full. Fuel is full. And we're going to upgrade our crew. I'm going to filter on the leveling. There are the four people that we need to upgrade. I can get a job, the captain. I'm just going to keep a merchant there for right now. Now he had wise counsel. I'm going to get this known trader. This is a nice one. This will discount the price of a trading permit. And as we get to up to level three and level four trading permits, they get more and more expensive. So that's pretty good talent to have. This person is our commander doctor, and we can add one point to a job. We'll just keep them even. And the quartermaster zealot, one point on each job. And we can already pass a command test. Famous Fury is a talent that allows us to pass a failed Intimidate test. And we've, we've failed a couple of them so far. So I'm going to go ahead and get that talent. And we're going to upgrade the job here of the Doctor. Pick up another talent that's Doctor related. Um, Treat wounded after a ship battle. Crew combat. Heal. Or assisted care, which uh, if we get medical care at a landing zone, this reduces the price. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one. Okay, everyone's upgraded. Now we're going to be taking... Just trying to get all of this done. All right, so we're back to space. We have an active mission here to escort the Arbiter. We're still staying in the sector. We're not doing any hyperwork jumps, and we have 48 weeks to do it. So 
Um, we're just going to go ahead and take care of this and get it out of the way. I'm going to pause here and we'll come back with episode three and take the Arbiter for a ride. See you guys soon.